Well, that's not going to work. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, go ahead and check out my other videos to get caught up. But here is my Lexus that I'm white bonding right here. Uh, today's video, I'm going to get these guys right here painted. Um, and I'm also going to be ready making a front splitter for my front lip so that it makes the, the car look a little bit more aggressive once it's all put together. If you guys want to make your guys own front splitter for any car that you have, go ahead and check out this video that's popping up right here. But let's go ahead and get started with today's video because I got a lot of time before the wheels get here. All right, so I got my front lip right here that I'm going to be installing on to the front bumper there so I can get the correct measurement for the splitter. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to get this mounted, mock up the piece of wood on to, uh, underneath this, and then get to tracing. All right, I know that I had to do a lot of editing and custom work over there to make it look and fit right, but this is how it's going to be. Obviously, there are so many lines here. You guys can't tell which one's which, but I will be cutting it off pretty soon for you guys to see how the finished product will be. But yeah, that's how it's going to be right here. It should look pretty aggressive. Now it's going to be the line right there, the outside line. And then I will round that off so there's not so there'll be no straight lines there. But yeah, that's how it's gonna be. And then these right here are drying. Well, these are I think they're just basically dried now. So yeah, everything right here uh, looks pretty good, all smooth, which is what I wanted, and a nice glossy finish. So yep, that looks pretty good right there. And I gotta go to my dad's house to get his jigsaw cutter. So I'll pick this up another day probably all right guys like i said i got the jigsaw cutter right there and there's my piece of wood so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the white body kit onto the car just secure it with some screws put the wheels back on and center outside so i can clean the garage a little bit and then get this piece right here cut so i'll show you guys how i make my splitter well that's not going to work all right well as you guys saw um I can't even put these wheels back down, so I think it's because I need to shave off a little bit of the inside of this fender. Hopefully that's all I gotta do. So I'm not too sure what happened over here. I must have messed up on my measuring of 
this piece right here, but it is sitting too far back over here. Well, it was sitting way further and there was like a bigger gap here than the other side. So I pushed it over this way more and re-drilled some of these holes over here, some over here. And now they're like a little bit more clearance, but that should be okay. Uh, once it's on the ground, it should clear more, I think. Um, but I have to go and re-drill the front lip into place. That's probably why over here it looks kind of funny over here. That's why there's so many measurements. Cause I try to make it even with the other side, but over here was kind of weird. But yeah, I'm guess I guess it's better to figure it out right now. We're running to the pump right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remount the front lip and hope. And I'm gonna keep the splitter layout the way that it is. I'm pretty sure that it will look perfectly fine. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remount the front lip so that it matches with the corner of over here and then lower the car and bring her out. All right, so in order for me to fit the wheels into the wheel well here, I had to go and trim the area here. Um, I might have to trim some more down there, but I did it here all the way over and to the front bumper here. I'll show you guys how it looked like before. So I had all this part right here and down here as well. So that's what I'm gonna to have to do in order my, for my wheels to fit better and that'll help with um, probably when it turns as well. So if I have to trim some more right here and over there, then I will do that. But right now um, the wheels will go on. So yeah, that's always a good thing. For the front lip, um, it's not fitting right. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. Um, I thought I had it, um, able to mount good but it's not mounting good right now so i'm not too sure what i'm going to do maybe i might have to just pull these in a little bit more like that push, push it in more as, as, as far forward as i can so yeah i'm not sure but i'll push that in and then i'll see if the wheel still fit because once i put it in push it in it kind of this part kind of goes in more towards the wheel so we'll see how it goes but Yep, I'm going to go ahead and do what I just did from here to all the three corners. And then I'll get it all mounted again. Just when I thought that was done. So I was going to um, put the front lip here onto the car. But I was running into some fitment issues on that as well. So what I had to do was I bondo the area that I cut so that if the white body sat a little bit back here, there wouldn't be like a big gap right here. Because I'm trying to use this front lip again. But yeah, that's how it is right there. Same on the other side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the GA sander and sand these down and hopefully I will be able to fit this nicely on the front bumper. Let's go ahead, get this sanded. All right, I got everything all sanded and smooth and that's how the lip is gonna be mounted there. Our front is nice and flush, flush over there as well. So let's go ahead and get the ground all clean up here, get to pick up all the screws and take the car outside now. All right, guys, here is the first look of the car outside. It has not been outside in months. But yeah, this is how everything is right here. Um, the front is hitting something on top. I think it's like the old fender wheel, but I, I probably won't be airing it out this low once the wheels are here anyway. So it should be fine. Um, I'll just set my minimum height a little bit higher. But I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. The fitment on everything is perfect. I will have to just cut this off right here, a little bit off there. But yeah guys, let me know what you guys think, because I am pretty happy with it. Yeah, the fitment on everything is pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So now, I got cleaned up all this mess that I made and then try to cut this um, splitter here. But let's take a look at the fog lights real quick. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there, right? 
it matches the triple beam on top. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the splitter now. So let's go ahead and get the cutting there and hopefully I will be able to finish that, finish off this video and get it uploaded for you guys. Um, I think it's snowing right now. I don't know why it's snowing in March or almost March, but yeah, it's snowing right now. So I'm gonna close up the garage, turn the heater back on and get to cutting. All right, guys, I got the splitter all made up and mounted right there, just mounted in place. And I think that it looks pretty, pretty good, pretty aggressive. Let me know what you guys think. So now I gotta just take that off um, and spray paint it black. Well, I guess just the bottom of it black so that it will be, so that it will be black. Um, the main part that I wanna get black is the, the front face right here. And then I'm gonna put some carbon fiber vinyl on top of here. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow, but for today, I'm going to go ahead and just paint it black for now. All right, guys, if you guys don't have a front splitter yet, I would definitely consider making one. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's inexpensive, and it just brings a whole new level to your car and how um, how aggressive it looks. But, yeah, let me show you guys how it looks like right here. So, like I was saying, it just makes the front end look so much more aggressive. It just ties it all in right here. That's how it looks like right here, mounted up. And that there's the finished product of the fog lights there. It's just kind of dirty right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, guys. Like the splitter doesn't come out like a crazy amount and it just pulls the whole front end together, especially with the white body kit right here. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video and the series so far. We are at 1100 subscribers and that's more than I thought I would ever get when I first started this build. But you guys are seeming to um, enjoy the white body build here. So I'm gonna create more content on that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the fog lights and the front splitter that I just made. But yeah, guys, hopefully the wheels will be here um, this month. Today is March 1st. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll be here this month or the beginning of April. So cross your fingers, they'll be here soon so I can finish up this build. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to enjoy life and go slow.